Ethiopia is a nation land of proud culture and heritage, possibly the origin of human existence. It is a country of waterfalls and volcanoes, castles, churches and mosques. Within Ethiopia lie holy cities of both Islam and Christianity, one of which possesses the biblical Ark of the Covenant. Ethiopians cling fiercely to their traditions and languages. They are the only people in the world that follow the unique calendar, which has 13 months and is 7 years apart from the rest of the world. Ethiopians' independent spirit has also enabled them to be successful and resist colonization. For this reason, Ethiopia is considered by many to be the capital of Africa. And in one important sense, Ethiopia could be considered the capital of the world's energy. It is the birthplace of coffee. However, despite its rich heritage, Ethiopia suffers from extreme poverty today. 78% of Ethiopians live on less than $2 a day and one-third survive at below the Ethiopian poverty level. Average life expectancy is around 60 years old and two-thirds of Ethiopians cannot read. Children are the most heart-wrenching victims of the cycle of poverty that plagues Ethiopia. Two-thirds of them born today are so malnourished that their growth is stunted, affecting their physical and mental development and in many cases proving fatal. In addition, the combination of poverty and AIDS has created a huge population of orphans in Ethiopia. UNICEF estimates that there are 140 million orphans worldwide, 17 times the population of New York. Roughly, 4.6 million of these orphans live in Ethiopia. Imagine 80% of the population of Greater Atlanta as orphans, children with no home, no family, and no reliable source of food, shelter, and love. This is in fact what visitors see when driving or walking the streets of Addis Ababa. It is impossible not to notice children begging, selling candy and gum, or languishing on the side of the road, sick, hungry, and desperate. Soltaf Children's Home began with the vision of founder Mahlit Salomon to alleviate this desperation. Her vision was to take children out of instability into stability, out of desperation into hope. In 2014, Mahlit's organization founded a children's home near Nazaret, Ethiopia. The three-bedroom, two-bathroom home has housed eight children so far, providing shelter and three nutritious meals a day. In addition, Soltaf pays the children's fees for a private Christian school. A live-in nanny serving as a mother to the children gives them after-school tutoring, teaches them core Christian values, and documents their weekly progress. This program has taken children from dire situations and put them into a home where they are thriving. The vision did not end with children. It has grown to match the relentless desire of Softaf's board members to improve the lives of marginalized people. In Ethiopia, some people suffer simply because of where they live. If they fall ill, many rural Ethiopians die from curable illnesses because they cannot afford transportation to a doctor. 
After learning this fact, Soltaf's board began fundraising a transportation program in Gurjam. This program transports individuals of all ages to a doctor or hospital, enabling them to get the life-saving medical attention that they need. For the children's home and the medical transportation project, even a small donation can often make the difference between life and death. Similarly, a loan can lift people from starvation to prosperity. Recently, Soltov initiated an empowerment program helping Ethiopian women start small businesses through microfinancing. Soltov is giving a single mother $30 a month for six months so that she can start a tea business in the streets of Addis Ababa. Soltov evaluates her progress and plans to recruit other women like her who are eager to make their own success. In addition to its work in Ethiopia, Soltov believes in showing solidarity towards the needy in its own American community. To that end, it has funded bi-monthly initiatives with organizations in Atlanta to assist the homeless and refugee populations, from providing meals to collecting household items for refugees, to holding financial seminars for immigrants, to helping a disabled Ethiopian immigrant. Soltaf delights in helping to improve the individual's lives. Some of the organizations Soltaf has partnered with include the Atlanta Food Bank, Hands on Atlanta, the Gwinnett Children's Home, the International Rescue Committee, Books for Africa, and the DeKalb Library. As Soltov continues to grow and expand its services, it counts on the support and encouragement of its community. In the words of Robert Ingersoll, we rise by lifting others. We at Soltov pray that you will be inspired to rise with us as we serve those whom God places in our path. In the Ethiopian culture, bowing your head is a sign of respect and appreciation. In that spirit, we bow our heads to you, our supporters. Thank you.